Imagine if you will a day like any other, the sun is shining, the birds are singing and life is continuing as it always does. A day so ordinary, so routine that it barely warrants a second thought. It's a day like this that we're stepping into, a day in the life of a man who could be any one of us. This man, let's call him John, is living his life as he always does. He wakes up to the sound of his alarm clock, brushes his teeth, makes his coffee, and steps out into the world. John, like most of us, lives in the realm of the ordinary, the familiar, the predictable. He is a man of routine, a man of habit, a man who has found comfort in the rhythm of his everyday life. John's life is filled with the usual things, work, friends, hobbies, dreams, and challenges. He possesses an inherent curiosity about the world, but he is also grounded in his reality. He is a man who enjoys the simple pleasures of life, savors his moments of solitude, and cherishes his interactions with the people around him. But today, on this day that started like any other, John's life is about to be turned upside down. On this seemingly ordinary day, John is about to experience something extraordinary, something that will change his perception of life and death forever. A moment that will challenge everything he knows, everything he believes. This moment, this unexpected event is waiting for John just around the corner. He has no idea it's coming, he has no way of preparing for it. He's about to be propelled from his ordinary world into a realm of the extraordinary. A realm that most of us can only imagine. And so, as John steps out into the world on this ordinary day, he is oblivious to the fact that his life is about to change forever. He is unaware that he is about to embark on a journey that will challenge his understanding of life and existence. But unbeknownst to our man this day was about to take a turn into the realm of the extraordinary. As the day unfolded, the man found himself caught in the grip of a sudden unforeseen event. A day that began like any other, without a hint of the extraordinary lurking in the mundane, was about to take an unexpected turn. The man, in the prime of his life, was suddenly gripped by an invisible force. It was as if a silent predator had pounced without warning, its claws clenching his chest in an unyielding grip. Without warning he collapsed, the world around him blurring into a hazy fog. The feeling of the cold floor beneath him quickly faded as he slipped into unconsciousness, his last perception of reality being the distant echo of alarmed voices and hurried footsteps. Meanwhile the world outside continued to spin, the sun continued to shine, the birds continued to sing, oblivious to the man's plight. But within the four walls of his home time seemed to stand still. The frantic call for help was made, and the clock began ticking down on a race against time. The arrival of the medical team was a whirlwind of activity, the room filled with the sterile scent of medical equipment, the sharp rhythmic beeps of the heart monitor and the urgent voices of the paramedics. Like a well-oiled machine they worked. Their movements synchronized and purposeful. As they fought to revive him, the man's life hung in the balance. His heart, that tireless engine of life, had ceased its rhythmic dance, surrendering to an eerie silence. The man, once vibrant and full of life, was now clinically dead. But the medical team did not give up. They were relentless, their efforts fueled by the sacred oath they had taken to preserve life. And then, after what seemed like an eternity, a miracle occurred. The heart monitor beeped, a weak but steady rhythm, a testament to the man's will to live. And just like that, our man had crossed the threshold from life to death and back again. In those few minutes of clinical death, our man experienced something that defied explanation. A journey into the unknown, a realm outside the ordinary, a glimpse beyond. His heartbeat had ceased, his breathing had stopped, but consciousness persisted. He found himself in a state of serenity and tranquility that he had never known before. It was a peace that transcended understanding, a calmness that seemed to envelop his very being. He was no longer bound by the constraints of time or the limitations of the physical body. He was free, free to roam the vast expanses of his own consciousness. His senses were heightened, yet he felt detached from his physical self. It was as if he was floating, observing the world from a different perspective. The noises of the world faded into a distant hum, replaced by a profound silence that seemed to echo in the depths of his soul. And then, there was the light. Not just any light, but a light so radiant, so pure, it was almost blinding. It was a beacon, guiding him towards it. He found himself drawn to this light, inexplicably, irresistibly. The closer he got to the light, the more intense the feelings of peace and joy became. He felt a sense of familiarity, a sense of homecoming, it was as if he had been here before, as if this was where he truly belonged, yet just when he felt he was about to reach the light, 
to touch the very essence of existence something changed. It was as if a force, a pull was drawing him back, back to the world he had left behind. And then as quickly as it began the man was pulled back from the brink, back to the world of the living. His journey into the beyond was over. But the memories of his experience, the feelings of peace, the vision of the light, they remained, etched in his mind, a testament to his glimpse beyond. Back among the living, the man struggled to make sense of what he had experienced. His heart had stopped, and yet he had lived to tell the tale. Now he found himself on an unanticipated journey, a quest to comprehend the unfathomable. In the sterile confines of the hospital he began his recovery. His body mended, slowly regaining strength, but his mind, it was a whirlwind of questions. He was like a detective, piecing together the fragments of an enigmatic puzzle. He pored over scientific articles and personal accounts, seeking answers in the experiences of others who had also peered into the abyss. Medical professionals were his next port of call. He sought the counsel of cardiologists, neurologists, psychologists. He was met with a spectrum of responses. Some chalked it up to a hallucination induced by a lack of oxygen, others nodded in understanding, acknowledging the mystery that still surrounds near-death experiences. Yet the most profound conversations he had were with himself. In the quiet hours of the night he reflected on his journey. He relived the moments of his clinical death, the sensations, the emotions. He dug deep trying to reconcile his scientific understanding of the world with his spiritual experience. It was a struggle, a tug of war between his mind and his soul. He grappled with the possibility of an afterlife, of a realm that exists beyond the tangible. It was a concept he had dismissed as a mere fairy tale, but now, he wasn't so sure. He wrestled with the implications of his experience, the profound impact it had on his worldview. His search for understanding wasn't swift or straightforward, it was a winding path, with more questions than answers, but with each step, he was drawn closer to the truth, to a realization that was as unsettling as it was enlightening. The man, once a skeptic, found himself at the precipice of belief. He was no longer the same person who had walked into the hospital that fateful day. With each passing day, the man became more convinced that he had glimpsed a world beyond our own. This extraordinary experience left our man with a new perspective on life and death. In the wake of this profound journey, the man found himself with a renewed appreciation for life. He began to see every moment as a precious gift, not to be taken for granted. To him, each sunrise held a promise of a fresh start, each sunset a beautiful ending. He found joy in the simplest of things, like the rustling of leaves in the wind, or the laughter of a child. He realized that life, in all its complexity, was indeed beautiful. His fear of death, once a looming shadow had diminished. He had seen what lay beyond the veil, and it was not something to be feared. Instead, he viewed death as a transition, a step into another realm of existence. This was not a conclusion he arrived at lightly, but a belief, etched into his soul by his extraordinary experience. In addition he came to believe in an afterlife. His journey beyond had shown him that there was more to existence than the physical plane, he couldn't explain it in terms of science or logic, but he felt it in every fiber of his being. He was certain that when we shed our mortal coil, our consciousness continues to exist in some form. This near-death experience was not just a brush with the unknown, but a transformative event that altered his perception of reality. It was a reminder that life and death are two sides of the same coin, and that they should be respected and embraced in equal measure. The aftermath of his experience saw him living life with a newfound purpose. He became a beacon of hope for those grappling with the fear of death, and his story served as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. He shared his insights freely, hoping to inspire others to appreciate the beauty of life and to confront the inevitability of death with courage and grace. And so, from an ordinary day came an extraordinary experience forever changing one man's view of life, death, and what lies beyond.